What is he saying? Summertime. Summertime. We just found out that there are kids already going back to school. It's not summer anymore. I get it. I can see why that would be your position on this. Makes perfect sense. But it is still summertime. And how do I know? I'll tell you how I know, dear folks and friends watching. Look, remember that cold brew I made about three weeks ago? It's empty. Must be summertime because I've been having lots of iced coffee drinks. Now, if you have not actually made yourself some toddy, the time is now. I want to remind you to go ahead and go to our website um, and use our standard coupon that we always offer to everyone watching the live show, Watch and Learn 10. You get 10% uh, off of your orders of coffee and you can go back into the archives of our videos um, on YouTube or here um, on Facebook, which is where I'm commenting today. Um, and you can see a couple of different methods for making toddy. Now toddy is a brand name, right? We really just call it ambient brew or cold brew, right? It's a uh, coffee that uses time rather than pressure and heat to extract the, the good stuff out of the coffee that we want. And it makes a concentrate. And I've been able to have this once full jar for three weeks because of that concentrate nature and keeping it refrigerated. But here's the secret. I, I'm not completely out. Look, look, I have a little bit left. Look at just that one, that little amount right there enough to make one drink. So what is the drink I'm going to make today? I'm going to make a shaken iced latte and you're going to find out where it is you can probably get one close to you, right? So uh, we'll pull this up. Oh, it's a little big. Oh, it's too big. Look, it's covering my face. There we are. There is the drink materials. We'll take a look at it real quick. So what do we need? We need um, materials to make our drink. So we have ingredients here. We have milk. In this case, I'm using almond milk. We have what's left of our uh, cold brew coffee, just a little over an, uh, an ounce, uh, yeah, an ounce and a half there. And then I have ice. Simple enough. What do I need to do a shaken ice latte? Well, I need um, to have shaker, right? Let's take a look at this. Um, you've probably seen these before, right? often two components, the base and the lid, and they go together, right? Um, and then also necessary, strainer, things you might already have in your home. Um, so how are we going to make this drink? Really simple. We're going to take our, our base here. Um, we're going to take, first of all, our glass, actually. Sorry, I lied to you. I'm going to go ahead and fill that with ice. That's about it. That's enough ice for me, I think, today, right? Do, do, do. Yeah, good. All right, so that's filled with ice now. And then I'm going to fill it with my milk or the ice in the glass I'm going to be drinking out of, right? And then here's the trick it all goes directly into. our shaker base, we add our coffee, and then here's the fun part, right? We take the top and the bottom, put them together, always give it a little bit of a press. Now, trust me, I'm not a bartender, so, you know, if any of my bartending friends are out there watching, don't laugh too much, because I don't do this very often. Um, Now, if I was in a, a restaurant setting or in our cafes, um, I would probably um, use a finer ice than we have in here today. But of course, we're at home, and that's what we're demonstrating, right? Boom, there it is. So easy, so simple, and so delicious, right? You can, of course, add sweetener to it if you like. Simple syrup. Um, 
think we had a, a little uh, lesson on that a, while, uh, a ways back. Um, or you can use, you can add chocolate or caramel, any of the things you like to have in what are traditionally maybe like your blended drinks. Um, easy to do, shakes it up nice. When you use a finer ice or a smaller ice, um, that ice cracks and breaks in the shaking process and kind of adds a little bit of that kind of slushy quality. Mm. If you also look back in the archives, you'll see that I did do blended drinks at home as well. So check that out. Um, maybe I'll hunt those down and put those in the comments below here so you can see those. But there's something else I wanted to share with you today. If you want one of these and you're not uh, in uh, Olympia here uh, on the western half of Washington State, you will be able to relatively soon go and join us at Point Ruston. I didn't want to just talk about that really quick um, with you all today. So mm, we started last week just as our little first little foray into um, having um, a presence at our new Point Ruston location. That is in uh, just, uh, just in Tacoma. Ruston is kind of a little city carved out within Tacoma. Uh, on the water there, beautiful views. You've probably seen the videos. Um, but we got our cart there and um, drink making materials so that we can uh, serve coffee and meet people there at Point Ruston. So we're going to be there again this Thursday. Um, you can see a little another shot there. There's Krista um, on the left in the blue, or I guess, yeah, in the blue, Crystal in the black shirt behind the bar. Uh, she is our leader for retail operations here in the Northwest and Crystal operations here in the Northwest and Crystal is going to be the new manager at this store when it opens um, and is kind of going to be the manager of our little pop-up here as it moves forward. So we're going to be talking about this over the next several weeks um, as we come out to the market and um, make ourselves present there, right? We've been talking about it for a year now. You've heard us talking about it. So Point Ruston is moving forward. Um, we are beginning our build out very, like soon. So we're going to be having a store there um, for the fall. And so we just wanted to spend some time there meeting folks um, and serving coffee. So we're going to have uh, hot coffee available. We'll have iced coffee as well. And then we can also make drinks like this, the little uh, shaken um, latte drink, right? Or a little uh, mocha or a little caramel latte. We'll have those, and then we'll also have, you'll see there on the left-hand side as well, um, coffee, of course, for you to buy right there. So um, there's Crystal at the, <laughs> at the little mobile cart. Now, there is a rumor, we'll see, I mean, we're, we're gonna really try and be here pretty regularly. We're starting with once a week, um, and I think Krista is going to staff it up to probably be there twice a week. Maybe I might take over a day too, so we might be there three days a week um, as we get into September. As we move further into fall, there is a possibility, and I'm, I'm not promising this, but you can see on top of that cart, right, it's actually an espresso cart, right? We're just making um, iced coffee and hot coffee off of it right now, but of course we can put an espresso machine there. So. That might happen. We might actually end up having our espresso there. We'll see, right? Um, but I think it would be fun to have to have that there. Tell us what you think in the comments, by all means. Let us know if you'd like to see espresso there uh, when it gets a little bit colder. Right now, though, you know, we have a little bit of a reprieve with some clouds right now, at least where I am. Not quite as um, as as uh, cool enough maybe to have as many steamed drinks. So we're really focusing on ice drinks and trying to, just like I did today, capture these last days of summer with uh, making iced coffees. Mm. So um, that's what we'll offer there. But yeah, we gotta put espresso there. You know, if we if we hear enough folks uh, asking for it, for sure. Um, uh, that's another shot of the front of Point Ruston. Through those doors right there is uh, this beautiful market inside. Um, Take a look there. Oh, look at that. That's great. That is looking from the center of the market back out towards those doors. And that little area in the corner there, that is where our store is going to be. I mean, really kind of from this white sign right over about, really, right? So we're going to have access to this lovely window. We'll have a, a window that can open up so we can uh, serve outside from the store. 
as well as this big open space here. So this week, when I um, when I head back over to uh, Point Ruston, I'm going to make sure to uh, take some more pictures of the market itself, and you'll see those. We'll do a little, uh, you know, live video in the morning like we did last week, just saying hello, showing maybe going around meeting some of the other vendors there and just saying hello to them. So doing a little walkthrough of the, of the space. Um, and then you can come visit Krista and Crystal and get some coffee. I'd love to see you there. Um, it might even be the case that we're going to have some specials. So, which you can only get there. So we'll talk about those as we move into the next couple of weeks. Thanks for joining me with Iced Coffee today. I appreciate your time. It was a little bit later today. Just because. Um, and I hope you have a good Tuesday. Is it Tuesday, right? Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.